go ahead and get started and then folks will join uh, as they uh, show up. So this is the Kingfisher release planning. Um, So from a logistics standpoint, as you can see your line, um, if you're not talking, the call is being recorded, so we'll post it after uh, the meeting. Agenda-wise, we're going to um, go ahead and um, actually there will be no demos. So we'll start with the goals of the planning session, uh, the roadmap, the Kingfisher schedule, and uh, slides from various contributors. So the goal of this meeting is to review the community plans for our next release, which is Kingfisher and uh, the L release. Um, Kingfisher is going to release in May 2017, and L release is scheduled for August 2017. Um, the intent of this meeting is to uh, help people with um, shared interests to connect and to make sure that we're accounting for you. And so the more you can share about your plans, what you plan to do, that will really help us in terms of integration. Um, it'll also help us understand um, what's coming when and make sure that folks are available to review things as needed. Um, and then we want to make sure that uh, folks are thinking through what they're planning to release this way as we get into sprint planning. Uh, all of those are in place. So from the roadmap perspective, um, you'll see here that uh, first we have uh, the previous release, Kingfisher and L. So the focus of Kingfisher is going through platform enhancements with a very strong focus on ONS since it's uh, kind of smack in the middle of our release. So what you'll see is uh, major features are dynamic configuration. Uh, with dynamic configuration, we're looking at um, uh, enhancing the NetConf and ResConf southbound, um, adding the ResConf um, northbound, the distributed store, uh, live compiler, so that um, as you're bringing on your devices, we're able to uh, pull in your um, game models and be able to interact with the device. Uh, from a virtualization standpoint, enhancements to the rough agent, external connectivity, and um, embedding an open stack integration. Um, some of these are being reviewed, so it may not be fully that list for virtualization. Uh, from a GUI standpoint, the plan is to complete the regions and layout and to re-implement the Stark theme. Uh, for QA, uh, there's, there are plans to do a performance white paper. It's been a while since we've had the last one, so we want to make sure that's updated. Um, incorporate OpenFlow 1.3, 1.5 uh, features, enhance the Delta security test suite, um, that was integrated in Junko, but uh, there will be more test cases added. Um, and then incubation feature-wise, uh, we're looking at adding gRPC support, code-based disaggregation, and uh, for intense domains, um, transactions. And then as we look at L, L will be focused on platform hardening with some additional enhancements around dynamic configuration. We look at short subtrees. Um, transactions and optimizations there, uh, virtualization, being able to do snapshotting, um, additional to outbound and resiliency, um, the RPC, so uh, enhancements and delivery of that feature, code basis aggregation. Um, so what you'll see is incubation features are looking at delivering uh, some functionality in the L release, and so you'll see a repeat of that. And then for QA, uh, some tests on a mini net automation enhancement. But as we go into the next release, we will update L as we get there. Okay, Kingfisher schedule. Um, Kingfisher consists of four sprints, uh, so the work will span three months. What you'll notice is uh, our first sprints, we're looking at about a little bit more than two weeks worth of work with a beta plan for uh, the 28th of March, uh, targeting an ONS demo. What we're looking at doing is we'll get a beta in place, some like QA testing, so that there's a fairly solid um, release or delivery vehicle so that folks can do demos with. Uh, of course, people are welcome to uh, have their code master and then do demos based on that also. Uh, we're looking at using March 29th to March 31st for ONS prep, and then the week of ONS itself 
uh, there will be no active sprints. What we will do, though, is we'll probably keep sprints one open. This way, folks that are not participating in ONS or the demos will be able to continue to deliver their features. Sprint two will start after ONS on the 10th of April and go for three weeks. Uh, sprint three will be two weeks. And uh, at the end of sprint three, we're going to have our feature free. Um, as with Jungle, the requirement is that all features be in by feature freeze, and so if your code is not merged by the end of that release, um, we'll make sure that uh, master is available for any new features beyond that. And then sprint four is uh, two plus weeks, and the focus of that sprint is fixing any defects, getting the uh, release candidates in place, and uh, targeting a May 31st release. Um, so what you'll see here is that the Kingfisher release is uh, fairly short and uh, very focused on ONS. And so from a feature delivery standpoint, I think uh, we'll need to be realistic about what can and cannot be done. I think the focus of Sprint 1 will be mostly around ONS, making sure demos are in place, making sure collateral is in place for that. And so we'll uh, look at that as we head into Sprint 1 planning in a couple of days. Brigades. Uh, we've been using brigades to uh, try to um, accelerate feature delivery. And so uh, previously we had four brigades, um, right, dynamic configuration, uh, we had deployment. And so what we're looking at doing is, um, because the model has been uh, fairly successful, we're looking at starting at five new brigades. Uh, the five new brigades are focused on GRBC, Build and Package Infrastructure, Teaching, Northbound Security, and Performance Analysis. Uh, we have the leads of those new brigades um, attending, so they will be going over uh, their plans. Of course, we have two sessions, and so some folks will be presenting their information in the morning sessions, and others will be presenting it in the evening session based upon uh, their time zone. Uh, we will cover the deployment brigade. Okay, you, you'll cover it? Yeah. Uh, hi, this is E, and I'm a member of the deployment brigade. Uh, so our goal is to create a software that can deploy to the uh, network and provide a layer zero to layer three connectivity to end users. And so we propose uh, some uh, durable to uh, king features. First is the, some northbound improvement and new features to the northbound. And uh, I will just, uh, main, um, talk later because we have a new brigade called Northbound Brigade and we are focused on uh, improved northbound. And the second is uh, all nothing a box, which means we put the all nodes and uh, the data plan inside one white, uh, white box switch. Uh, for example, Acton switch with our DBA pipeline. And uh, the third is uh, with Gen, we, have, we test the uh, uh, LDN, BOD, and uh, uh, improve the VPIs with, uh, put the features with cross out devices. And uh, so uh, every contribution is welcome. And uh, if you want to join uh, or discuss with us, uh, please send email to the owner staff uh, email mailing list or uh, you can find our mailing list from the wiki page, uh, page from uh, the link. Thanks. Thank you. Um, we don't have an update to virtualization or dynamic configuration. We'll cover those later. Um, GUI, Simon? Yeah, so um, for uh, Kingfisher release, we uh, are planning to complete the work that we've been doing on the region where topology view. Um, hopefully that will be up and running and on the part with the existing topology view. Um, we'll also be completing the uh, the dark theme. We have the graphic designer lined up to help us with actually selecting the color palette for that. Uh, and then the other thing that um, invariably happens with, with demos is that code is written a little hastily. And so I'd like to actually put on the docket um, some time to carve out to revisit and clean up any UI code that we wrote for ONS demos, and just make sure that you know the the code is kind of back up to the uh, the quality that it should be. Um, and then looking a little bit further out into the uh, the L release, um, we've we've.
pushed out the um, the index global search because of other stuff that had been happening. Um, and but we still want to to do that, and uh, we also want to make the the table views in the UI a little more um, use uh, easily navigable by adding um, keystrokes for uh, moving the selection of the row and so on. Um, so, yeah, that's that's that. Thanks, Simon. So let's move on to gRPC, Aaron. Um, okay. So gRPC for the Kingfisher release, we're going to focus on just getting a significant subset of the services set up so that they can be accessed uh, via gRPC northbound. Um, and we are hoping to have a demonstration app written in Python that can then communicate with Onos or any other language, basically, to prove that we can communicate between languages. Make um, And so that would be the basics. Um, by the L release, we want to have every, all the core services thoroughly implemented and tested. Um, we're exploring the idea of native language libraries for a few languages because we have some higher level constructs. Like, for instance, it doesn't make sense to send a map in, uh, or a topology view in its entirety. It makes much more sense to create a Python language um, implementation of the map that's backed by a communication channel to ONOS. So we would create sort of for the higher level constructs, basically uh, language specific objects that are backed by the connection to the platform. And then the sort of, and this is pushing the edge of it, this may or may not happen, is exploring automated generation. So the idea would be to scan the interface files and automatically generate both the protocol buffer um, implementations, basically the protocol definitions, and the gRPC servers, because uh, effectively this, this is only good for a short time unless we either have maintainers or we can find a way for it to maintain itself. Because otherwise, things will inevitably fall out of alignment, and so this is this is sort of the long-term plan to make sure we have it, you know, consistently functional. And then uh, a link has been provided to the gate page. So for those that are interested yeah. in learning more, or if they're interested in joining, please uh, contact. Yeah, we, we'll need one or two more people. Uh, otherwise, we'll push people to testing. The next is uh, uh, structure for data. Um, yeah, can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, so uh, build and package in first brigade just started uh, with three members. Like we are, we are actively looking for more contributors for. Uh, Short-term goals, uh, we just identified four items. So one is to disaggregate Ono's code base, uh, and then to design and develop a CA plan for Ono's and uh, produce, release, process documentation, and maintain documentation in Git books. So this is, uh, since this is our first uh, uh, sprint uh, cycle with Ono's, we just want to uh, take things very light and probably much on experimentation or proof of concept mode. So uh, the first item is uh, for Kingfish release is the form of excellence activity. So uh, Thomas highlighted that this should be done uh, before uh, Kingfish release. So we just we have taken that. And the next three items are, are more on the incubation mode, wherein as part of uh, code disaggregation, we just wanted to take the apps uh, part of code in a separate repo and try to see if it builds up properly. And on the pipeline, we just want to convert uh, a single Jenkins freestyle job into a pipeline and see how it goes. Uh, with respect to the documentation, we just want to uh, take uh, an existing wiki page and convert it as a git book and put it in the community to get the views and based on the feedback, we'll move forward. Okay. So we'll move on to Brigade. Abdul Halim? Yes, I'm here. Are you hearing me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So, in fact, um, the goal of our Brigade is to continuously uh, enhance and improve the future of the CORD and ONS project through training. Uh, our our goal really is to provide and reorganize uh, open source modular teaching materials 
organized in uh, several levels. Uh, we believe that we need uh, level for beginners, level for uh, engineers or uh, network operators, and uh, a level for advanced users or developers. So um, we hope that we could provide for the Kingfisher uh, release a document that can describe the uh, whole big picture of the uh, NAV and SDN uh, technologies including uh, Docker, OpenStack, Onus, MCord, Dcord in general, and uh, the related tools for running uh, some lab. Uh, in parallel, in fact, uh, we aim at providing, let's say, modular materials for the uh, first level or the beginner level. And for the uh, L release, uh, we aim at providing uh, uh, materials dedicated for uh, training events, like for instance uh, some training workshops uh, held with uh, some ONUS uh, conferences like ONUS Build. So we were thinking that we can, for instance, make maybe uh, through one day or maybe maybe more just before the, the, the ONUS Build uh, start. Uh, we can run a workshop about ONUS basics uh, with hand-on exercises uh, using the materials that we, we will produce uh, and reorganize uh, that can end up with uh, some evaluation or some uh, tests and maybe uh, providing some certificates of at attendees or uh, certificate of, uh, let's say, uh, of knowledge or uh, etc. And uh, by the way, about the certification, uh, we had several discussions with people uh, from uh, ON, ONF, Open Network Foundation, um, and uh, it's um, let's say long-term goal to provide some certification services for ONS and core projects in, in particular. Uh, and uh, for the air release as well, uh, to end, we we want as well to provide the modular materials for the second level or the intermediate level, which is the user uh, or the engineer who, who is not really uh, want to develop application, but instead use the developed uh, already applications in ONUS or in the uh, code projects. Any help from the community are welcome. Uh, we don't have really a lot of people uh, who has good experience in uh, code projects like MCord, Dcord, uh, uh, etc. So any help in this direction will be uh, really uh, welcome. Um, we have only the people from OnLab, uh, which are uh, all already uh, overloaded in, in their agenda and uh, they can't really uh, provide a lot of um, a lot of their work to dedicate to the brigade, so the brigade is open to any uh, any effort from any uh, any people. Okay, um, thanks, Abdelhalim. Um, on the um, ONS side, right, uh, the core team is also putting together collateral for ONS. So as we head into it, I know Luca was talking about updating um, installation documentation, so there should be more updated information on the core side as we head into ONS. Yes, OK. Thanks. OK, Northbound Brigade. So are you Simo? covering this too? I see him or not? I don't see him. Okay. Uh, hi, this is uh, I'm also a Northbound Brigade member. And uh, Northbound is like a, a branch from the Deployment Brigade. And uh, we are provide, uh, our goal is improving existing Northbound and uh, propose new features to Northbound. And uh, some we will propose uh, durables to a King feature. Uh, is uh, first we'll provide a new intent store, uh, which will have, will provide design document document uh, for a link, and uh, second is we provide resource service improvements uh, like the uh, uh, performance and the transactional uh, features, and the uh, third is uh, we'll provide a bandwidth allocation 
uh, to existing the uh, intent framework and uh, some applications. And uh, the last is provide a logic compiler and the drivers uh, for some uh, some devices and uh, yeah. So uh, if you are interested in no from BK, uh, please send email to us. And uh, we also have a mailing list inside the wiki page you can find. Yeah, please. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. And then there's also a um, security and performance analysis brigade that will be starting up. Um, I believe he won't be able to join us for the release planning. Um, so we'll go over it briefly. Uh, this brigade will be launched in mid-March uh, with some numbers ready. The goal would be to assess the controller uh, robustness against attacks, um, be able to provide uh, security and performance reports. One of the things we want to make sure is we want to make sure that we align with the QA team um, so that there is no overlap in terms of some of these assessments as the team is looking at um, Delta testing. Um, part of this is also assessing control plane performance. Um, and then actions by the team would be to uh, kick off a meeting in late March, um, some hackathons, and looking at a first report during summer of 2017. On the QA side, the QA team uh, will not be able to join us today. They're off on a recruiting trip. So from a feature test standpoint, um, <clears throat> The focus is to test brigade features, so virtualization, northbound as features get developed there, uh, investigate and fix failed Delta security tests. As we had noted uh, in Junko, there was integration of Delta testing. Um, so here is uh, taking that a step further. Um, we want to enhance the protected intent test, add new distributed primitives to HA tests, investigate and improve HA stability. There was lots of work done in the Junko release, so there were there was quite a lot of improvement to HA, but um, this is to take that further. We still have a few lingering issues. Um, collaborate with various brigades, investigate OpenFlow 1.5 features. Then from a performance and scale test standpoint, uh, they'll be collaborating with the security and performance analysis brigade. As we noted, we want to make sure that uh, we um, look at overlap between the two and, and make sure that uh, we're leveraging the teams appropriately. And then update performance benchmarks, um, so providing a white paper um, that uh, documents our performance, uh, continue BLL collaboration, continue performance tests with Verizon and Huawei. And then uh, some additional enhancements, uh, plan for changes on test on Mininet based on ONO scripts and automation framework. This is targeted for the L release. Um, document how to report a bug on Wiki and uh, Jira templates. Provide a Wiki page uh, for community involvement with QA. Um, uh, and as you're interested in QA items, please work with the QA team. They will be trying to provide uh, more information there to make it easier to contribute in that space. Packet obstacles, Mark? Yes, can you hear me? Uh, a bit faint, can you uh, speak up a bit? Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll get closer to the mic, hope this is okay. Yes, uh, we, have, we have two um, uh, objectives for Kingfisher. One is the much overdue open rodent support. Uh, I hear um, the dynamic config brigade is uh, making amazing progress, so I think now is the right time uh, to start consuming their work. Uh, second one is to explore new territory for the packet optical work, namely in the context of um, of mobile front uh, mobile front hall backhaul, uh, and this together with uh, Tom Tofik from AT and T. Uh, in terms of collaboration, we'll probably be working closely with uh, the Northbound Interface Brigade. Uh, to uh, get support or to develop features that uh, NTT Field Trial um, has requested. And that's it. Okay, thanks, Mark. And then for OpenStack integration, 
I don't think we have questions. That will probably be an afternoon session. And then for lists of system, I assume this will also be an afternoon session. Um, please join us for the afternoon session as we go through more of these features. And then security mode owners, Chani. Yes, I'm here. Do you hear my voice? Yes, we can hear you. OK, yes. Uh, this is Chani, and I recently joined the security mode owners team. So I'm in the meeting for the very first time. So nice to meet you, and I will be great working with you guys. OK, first of all, uh, we have three topics for the Kingfisher release planning. First. The security mode owners does not work with the build tool bug. So we are working on this with top priority, but we encountered a few issues and we we'll resolved the ASAP. Also, uh, the permission will be granted to the application automatically. Uh, for instance, sometimes uh, in the case of the reinstallation of already accepted application, uh, we don't need to review and accept permission again. So the permission could be automatically granted to an application if uh, the application is not modified. For this, uh, the system maintains the application data on the distributed stories, such as a hash value of application ID and accepted policy list. And with the data, the system can check the application integrity. Uh, in addition, uh, we Considering uh, applying Java annotation concept to security model owners, uh, with the annotation, we anticipate giving more convenient way to use it. For this, uh, we are investigating the feasibility and effectiveness of annotated permission checking. So if it is good, we will apply. And now for the app release, uh, we are focused on the performance issues such as reduce runtime overhead. And okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, thanks, Tony. So, um, so we've got Kingfisher Sprint One starting up in a couple of days. It's targeted for this Thursday at 3 p.m. Uh, please refer to Zona's calendar for the meeting details um, and get your stories into Jira. We'll be going through that and uh, getting the stories ready as we head into Sprint One. Um, and then, of course, keep in mind Sprint One for a lot of folks that be focused on ONS. Um, so get your stories in place in terms of any demo work or collateral that will be needed for um, our deliveries there. Okay, any other questions or comments? Okay. And then I think Mark, you mentioned uh, some dependencies on the Northbound Brigade. Um, my recommendation is if you have time today, uh, yeah, let's make sure that there are those discussions, especially as we head into um, Sprint 1 and releases. Let's make sure those requirements are understood and worked through. Okay? Okay, thanks everyone. That's it for today. I'll see you in the afternoon session. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.